what's up guys my name is Zach and today I am driving a 1984 Ford Mustang GT turbo convertible up front is a 2.3 liter turbocharged inline four and down below is a five-speed manual transmission now I am super excited to be driving this Mustang for two reasons first of all it's a Fox body Mustang it's been years since I've driven a Fox body and it is my favorite generation of Ford Mustang so that is always a nice little perk but the second reason is that the GT turbo convertible was very very rare even back in the day for 1984 they only made about 730 of these convertibles with the turbo engine in this trim so very very special and so I'm excited to share that with you today but if you would like to share your interesting vehicle with me, you can head on over to my website, zachpradle.com slash submit. It's quick and easy submission form, takes under a minute to fill out, and I come out to you. But let's get back to that 2.3 liter turbo under the hood. Well, first of all, yes, it is a four cylinder Ford Mustang. And I always laugh because everyone always got in a tizzy whenever Ford brought up the fact that they were doing a four cylinder EcoBoost here in the modern era. Well, back in the 80s, they also did a 2.3 3 liter turbo and everyone seems to forget that in 84 they made this for 83 and 84 it only made about 175 horsepower now that was up to 200 horsepower when they started doing the SVO which shares a very similar engine they are a little different but they're very similar too it's not super powerful if you buy the 5 liter, the 5.0, the famed 5.0, yeah, that's going to be a lot faster and be a lot different. This is a cruiser car. It's not meant to be fast. It's not meant to show off. It's not meant to make your jaw drop at drag week. It's meant to be lighthearted and fun, and that's what the original Mustang was always about. The first ever Mustangs didn't even come with a V8. They came with an inline six. And so to me, this is a little bit more true to form than some people might give it credit for. Now, like I said, paired to it is a five-speed manual transmission. Shifting is great. The clutch is very, very stiff, and so is the shifter as well. It definitely takes a little bit of muscle to get it going. However, that could be circumstantial to this particular car, but it does have a very sturdy feeling, which is nice. Last but not least about the drivetrain, of course, the Fox Body Mustang is rear wheel drive. So how's it feel to actually drive the Fox Body? Well, the turbo is there, but you wouldn't really know it until you really start beating on the car. It's not a very rev happy engine as we would associate with modern four cylinder turbos. It almost feels like it was prescribed the turbo by a doctor, not because it just wanted to have a turbo. However, when you drive, there's a light that comes on that says turbo on. As if a turbocharger could be turned on and off, the Mustang tells you, hey, it's on now. And that is the coolest 80s quirk that I've dealt with in a very long time. So that is pretty intoxicating to really give it the beans. And you see that turbo light come on. Oh boy, oh boy, does that make me happy. With that stuff out of the way, let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I have a bunch of gauges. Off to the left, I have my amperage and coolant temperature. Then I have my tachometer and speedometer. And off to the right, I have my oil pressure and fuel. I love that you could see the bolts on these gauge clusters. It's a very 80s thing that they willingly showed you, hey, this is where we attach things. You don't see that in cars anymore. Exposed bolts are frowned upon in 2023, but back in 1984, it was actually the trend. On the steering wheel, we do have cruise control options and these very low slung grips on the wheel itself, which again, reinforces that sort of cruiser mentality. Off to the left, we do have several lights of which one of them is that turbo on light that I love oh so much. On the door, we do have manual mirrors, our latch get in and out, and our power windows. So very nice to see power windows here in the Fox Body Mustang. Moving into the center, we do have a single climate control vent as well as our climate controls 
ridiculously basic here in the Fox Body Mustang. Then down below, we do have the factory Ford Mustang radio from 1984, and it looks great. However, I do now want to give a quick shout out to the owner, Todd. He actually retrofits old radios in cars to have Bluetooth connection. So this radio actually does have Bluetooth connection done by Todd, and he offers his services. If that's something you might be interested in, you can email him at the email up on the screen. He does mostly Ford radios, so F-150s, Mustangs, Capris, that sort of thing of the era. However, he does do Camaros and other vehicles. So if you do have a vintage car that you want the radio to have Bluetooth capabilities while retaining the stock radio, please give Todd an email and hopefully you guys can work something out. But down below that radio, we do have our warning lights. So brake light out, low fuel, headlights, washer fluid, and tail lights. These all have their own little light lights that will light up when those things aren't working or if the fuel is low. That is so 80s and you get this wire diagram of a Fox body, which I just love. Off to the right, I do get a little clock. Then I do have the cigarette lighter and ashtray, and then we come to the shifter. The shifter, when it's in neutral, is at a very interesting slant. I did not expect this out of the shifter. It looks like it's in second gear, but it's actually not. Kind of interesting. And like I said, it's a little difficult to shift, but that's how American cars were for decades and decades and decades. Only recently have modern manual American shifters actually felt somewhat nice. Then I do have the handbrake and a little center console, meaning there are no factory cup holders here in the 1984 Ford Mustang GT Turbo Convertible. So unfortunately, it fails the big friggin' bottle test. <laughs> Now, the seats are very, very comfortable. They have this nice red lining as well. They are very cushiony, very 80s, and I love them with my whole heart. But speaking of seats, we do have back seats. So let's go do a back seat review in the Mustang convertible. See, normally I hate coupes and I hate getting in the back of coupes, but when there's a convertible, heaven is my headliner. So ugh, I can actually fit back here pretty easily. Now, knee room, no good. Uh, they're being smashed by several different interior parts. Um, the seats themselves are cushy, but they're very short. And since I have a big butt, I don't really fit all the way on it. Not a pleasurable experience, but for kids, for normal sized adults, it'll probably be pretty okay. It's not the end of the world. It's the backseat of a Mustang. I don't think the backseat of a Mustang has ever been shown in any positive light. Uh, and that's the, the case here as well. Well, I guess if you count the electric Mustang SUV, but most people don't. I personally don't, so is what it is. Let's hop out. We'll take a quick look at the trunk and cargo space, and then we'll talk about the looks. All right, around the back, I love this Mustang GT Turbo badging. So, so cool. So we do have two different keys, one for the ignition and one for the trunk. The big round one is for the trunk. Pop it up like that. And once we are back here, nice, you gotta have your Mustang apparel when driving your Fox body, and of course some essential other parts. Not crazy backspace because of that convertible top, but other than that, I mean, it's a car from the 80s. It's pretty good trunk space. Here it is if you've ever been curious. Now we gotta talk about the looks, and it's argued that the four-eyed Ford Mustang isn't the prettiest, and that's fair. I can get behind it, but I just love the iconic look of the Fox body, and whenever I see a Fox body, I get truly, truly excited, and so you can only imagine how excited I was to be driving one here today. But with all of that being said, let's get on to my final thoughts. What do I think driving the Ford Mustang GT Turbo Convertible? Well, it has to be said that this is incredibly, incredibly cool. It is one of the rarer versions of the Fox body. It's cool to have a 5.0, but this is something special. This is something you don't see much of. And the owner said that he gets stopped at almost every gas station, every stoplight by other Mustang fanatics that know what this car is. And that to me is really cool. The driving experience, I could take or leave. It's not amazing even with that turbo helping out. It's not knocking my socks off. And once you're at 4,500, you kind of hit the ceiling. It really does not want to rev to its own red line. But 
you have to give credit where credit's due, and there's a lot of credit due to the Fox Body platform. The platform was so versatile. I've driven a handful of Fox platforms recently, and they've all been a joy. I love what Ford was able to do with it and how many different flavors of the same thing they were able to offer. And at the end of the day, the Fox Body Mustang is just my favorite. I think it's because that's what I sort of grew up around. This was the affordable Mustang when I was growing up because it was already a couple years old at that point. And I had two different friends in high school that owned Fox Body Mustangs. Shout out to Ryan and Sean. And I think it's just one of those scenarios where everyone always debates what the best era of Saturday Night Live is. And what it ends up being is just a debate on when they grew up. You see, I think the best cast of Saturday Night Live was in the early 2010s. Andy Samberg with the digital shorts, Kristen Wiig, Fred Armisen, Bill Hader, Jason Sudeikis, Amy Poehler, Maya Rudolph. Those to me, that was the best era of Saturday Night Live. But I know a lot of people that argue the Belushi era, a lot of people that argue the Farley or Farrell era, Fallon era. And it all just comes down to when you grew up. Well, I grew up when the Fox bodies were affordable and usable. And so, to me, this has been solidified as the coolest. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to Todd and Evan for letting me take out their Ford Mustang GT Turbo Convertible. I was so excited to not only drive another Fox body, but such a rare and interesting one as well. They have been absolutely awesome, really down to earth father and son. Such a joy to work with and I can't wait to work with them again. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. I'm gonna enjoy the sun and the turbo just a little bit more. The turbo is on. Take care, guys.